The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has gone great reviews and Eve Lemon and George by Howard Celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Ford Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com and over 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and uh, heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, hoodies, and uh, tote bags as well, too. And baseball gear makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also, T-shirts, pop sockets, phone cases, hoodies, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you give generously today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is a singer-songwriter from Patterson, New Jersey. He was a member of Riff. He began his career in Patterson High School as a part of a doo-wop influence ensemble called the Playboys in the late 80s and featured in the 89 film Lean on Me starring Morgan Freeman and uh, later released a self-titled album 91. It had hits on the Billboard Hot 100 like uh, My Heart is Failing Me, also um, Every Time My Heart Beats, and also If You're Serious, and um, also performed the title track for White Men Can Jump with Woody Harrelson, and later formed um, Men of Vision in the late 90s, had three top 20 uh, Billboard hits, and um, a video podcast called Vibe Sessions, and he also um, went solo, had some uh, hits with a Young OG with me, They Don't Want to See Us, um, Keep loving me, and also has a new song out called uh, "Running Out of Time." But we're never running out of time with this guy. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New Jersey, the multi-talented singer-songwriter Nitty Green. Nitty, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Mike, how are you, man? That that was a great introduction, man. I'm very excited to be here, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's our, it's our pleasure as well, too. And of course, uh, with what you got to the table, I mean, you got to be amazing as well, too. You're a singer songwriter from New Jersey. You're a member of Riff. You began a career in Patterson High School as a member of the doo wop influenced uh, ensemble called the Playboys in the late. 80s, and uh, you're featured in the A9 film Lean on Me with uh, Woody uh, Morgan Freeman. Also, I uh, had hits in the Billboard uh, Hot 100 and also performed the Todd track for White Men Can't Jump. You later formed uh, Men of Vision in the late 90s, had three top 20 hits on the uh, Billboard. You got a really good streak. You also got went solo with new music with like Young OG with Men. They Don't Want to See Us, Keep Loving Me. Also, your new song, Running Out of Time, which is um, 
out as well, too, or soon to be. And before getting to all that, Nitty, tell us how you first got started. Oh, man, got started. Uh, got up into uh, high school, man, is where I first got my start. I got the bug. And, um, you know, it's very, very short, short story, man. We, my group got started in, you know, in the movie um, is where we got our, our start. Um, we used to sing around, man, in the bathrooms um, at, in our high school and stuff like that. No one really knew, Mike, I want to tell you. And one day, Mr. Clark, um, who was the principal at the high school at the time. Um, I'm sitting in the homeroom, Mike. He calls my name over the loudspeaker. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> Michael Bess was my name. This is my government name. He calls me, Michael Bess, come to the office. So I go downstairs to his office. The secretary points over there, said he's in there. So I goes into his um, office and there's two ladies sitting there. And he goes, uh, he goes, Mr. Best, he goes, listen, the reason why I brought you down here, I need to know something right now. And this is something that we don't allow in our building here. He said, number one, are you dating either one of these girls? Because it appears that you're a playboy. I want to know which one of these girls you date. And I'm like, I'm not dating anyone, Mr. Clark. I promise you, I barely know who these ladies are. He goes, yeah. He said, somehow, Mr. Best, I do not believe you. So Mike, he tells me, he says, I want you to sing the school song. Now, mind you, Mr. Clark demanded that everybody knew the school song, our school alma mater, on demand or get suspended for 20 days or however many days he felt like he wanted to do it, depending on what type of day he was having. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I basically somehow or another got out of singing the song for him on that particular day. It was secretary day and it was the secretary. Um, she was upset because he was gonna can her from singing the song and put me on the spot and make me sing the song. So she was, <laughs> she was kind of upset. And he mm -hmm. said, you, he goes, Mr. Best, he said, you're lucky. He said, I'm gonna let you Go do what you do. He said, but I want you to come back here tomorrow and sing the song. I said, this is awesome. I said, because I'm going to go home. I said, and I'm going to have a surprise for you. I'm going to go get the homies, and we're going to come back, and we're going to do something special for you. Huh. He, was, he was like, listen, go get the homies. <laughs> go get them. He said, but if you come back here and you don't have something special for me, he said, I promise you. I'm going to suspend you for 20 days. Now, you have to understand, we only can miss 21 days. He was going to suspend me for 20 days, which means if I miss one, I have to repeat the year over. Oh, my goodness. So immediately I ran home after school and I got with uh, Anthony and Dwayne, who was a member of, we weren't called Riff at the time. We were just guys. We used to sing gospel music around the community. It was actually called the Spotlight Gospel Singers, but no one knew that we sang in the school except people that's been to the local gospel shows. They knew. So mm -hmm. I got with Anthony and Dwayne. We came up with a rendition of the school song, meaning, you know, we did some doo-wop to it and a little gospel feel to it. And we came back the next morning, Mike. And I tell you, was nervous. I was nervous. But, you know, I was nervous because he was known for just, you know, if you didn't know the song as it was, you know, on demand, he was going to suspend us. Mind you, we changed it around and we did some doo-wop to us. So I wasn't really sure that he was going to like it. So he uh, basically, we came into the office. He said, okay, these are your homies. He says, okay. He said, so again, every morning he has somebody sing the school song. It was our turn. So he gets on the loudspeaker, ladies and gentlemen, stand for the school song. He said, today, he said, I want to let you know we have no other than the Playboys. He's going to sing the song. Oh, my so goodness. Mike, we, we struck it up. And we went into it, man. And he was just standing there watching us sing the song, man, like looking at us like this, just looking at us. 
And after we finished, we heard the school, the school just roared and like clap. You heard like, it was like a football game and ah, right? Like so 50,000 at Giant Stadium or 100,000. It, it was crazy, Mike. So he, he um, stood there in awe and was like, he snatched the mic and was like, listen, he said, I want everybody in the building to learn the school song just the way they sing it or get suspended on demand. Oh, so like, you raised the bar. <laughs> raised the bar. We changed it around and Mr. Clark had everybody in the school singing that. So I want to tell you, we had to sing that song for almost two, three months every morning, singing the school song so everybody can get it. And uh, we ended up hooking up with a social worker by the name of Skip Van Rensselaer at the time. On that very day we sang the song, he somehow got a message to us that he wanted to meet with us. So he later on became our manager Skip Van Rensselaer, and he would take us over to his house, man, teach us a whole bunch of doo-wop, gospel songs. Um, he would teach us some R&B, like the Temptations, the Four Tops, man, the Spinners. He taught us all types of music. He wrote music, so we was learning some of his songs. And I want to tell you, um, we, we just fell in love with his music, man, and we ended up changing our name to Riff. All right, now, one day we're in the school and Mr. Clark comes over with a loudspeaker and he goes, listen, guys, he says, we're going to have some visitors in the building on today. He said, Warner Brother Films is going to be here. Oh, nice. He said, he said, continue doing what you're doing. Go to your class. Act like you don't see him. He said, I also might be being shadowed by somebody that you might know. Um, he said, if you see him, you know, just make sure that you do what you got to do. Keep it moving. We're not going to hold, hold them up. He said, and his actor, Morgan Freeman. Wow. So that particular morning, man, like nobody can get nothing done. So about in the afternoon, he calls Riff over the loudspeaker, the Playboys, I need to come to the office. So we came down there and he goes, listen, guys, I want to have a meeting with you real quick. He goes, listen, I'm having a movie done about the school. He says, and um, he said, I want you guys to be in it. He said, I want you guys to sing the song in the movie the way you did. He said, so in a week, he said, I want you to audition for Warner Brothers. He says, not today, but they're going to be back. I want you to audition. And that's how we got our start, man. He pretty much had us um, audition for Warner Brothers. They heard the song and was like, wow. We're definitely putting it in. So they wrote us into the script and that's how we got to start. So the musical director, the writer of the movie and the producer formed a um, production company called um, Fair Shot. Mm -hmm. And they end up signing the star of the movie next to Morgan Freeman. They signed Riff because we changed our name now. Um, to Riff, they signed Riff to a production deal and they shopped us a record deal up at SBK wow. Records. So we went from filming the movie to now we have a record deal and we had to get a record prepared. So they flew us out to LA. We knocked out 10 songs, man. And that's where my heart is felling me. If you're serious and every time my heartbeat came from right there and our career started. Oh my gosh. And, and all in the hot 100. How do you like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh my gosh. And then you go from, um, you know, lean on me, you ever go over to uh, white men can't jump and, um, you know, tell us about that. And how'd you guys first get involved with uh, white men can't jump? Well, we were on tour um, at the time we um, like, again, like when we came out, you know, the record company was trying to break us. At the time, Vanilla Ice was the hottest artist on the planet. Mm -hmm. Ice Ice Baby was the hottest song oh, yeah. on the planet. Um, and he was also signed to the label. So um, they pretty much made it happen where we had to go on tour with him. So we opened for him. And uh, one day we, we got a phone call saying that um, we're going to be 
flown out to uh, Atlanta to work with super producer Dallas Austin. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're going to be doing a song. The title cut of the movie, White Man Can't Jump. Mm. So we, we, we pretty much flew out to Atlanta. We met Dallas. And, you know, we we had copies of the demo. So our manager Skip went over it with us a couple, a couple times. And when we got out there, Dallas Austin asked us to sing the song for him because he wanted to hear how we sang. It. So we got in the studio and we was in the cir- circle and we took off. We took we took off, man. We started singing the record. He's like, whoa. He's like, man, this is this is awesome. So he cleared the whole studio out and was like, I just want them <laughs> in the studio. He told the managers to go away. He just want the group here. And we ended up cutting the record, man. And, you know, it was an awesome experience because Dallas was pretty much. He was the super producer. He had worked on Boys the Men. He had did TLC. He was responsible for all of that stuff. You know what I mean? When they first came out, Dallas Austin did the whole Boys to Men album and, and uh, he did all the TLC albums. So it was just amazing to be in the studio with him. And it was, it was just an awesome experience. So that's, that's how we got that. So after check, check it out, Mike, after we recorded the song, right? We, we recorded the song that night that, that next morning we flew out to Miami to shoot the video. And there we walked in to our trailers, man, and we met Woody Harrison, Wesley Snipes, and Rosie Perez, who was also in the video. Wow, amazing. You know, I amazing. love that movie, by the way. That's amazing meeting up those three. <laughs> yeah, and we we uh after we filmed the video, we went out to eat dinner, man, and it was great, man. It was a great, great, great experience. What was Woody Harrison like, you know, as a person as well, too? I've been always curious about that. Funny. Funny. He's very um, charismatic, too, as well, man. He's just, he's just a likable guy, man. He's, he's joking around, man. Then he has a ser- serious side, but, you know, he, he'll be acting. You know, he's a great actor, first of all. But um, yeah, he came off as a a guy with a great sense of humor. You know what mm. I mean? He had a he had a ball. He if you watch the video, he's dancing in the video. It's just it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that certainly yeah, yeah. is. That certainly as well, too. We love that. You also got, were involved with um, Men of Vision in the late 90s as well, too. We'll talk about that with some of your solo works. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundQuab Studios. Visit our line at soundquabstudios.com for early needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundQuab Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition rate. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia molson Available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson has garnered great reviews and Eve Levin and George by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and Benilis. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com or over 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries. Also on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow The Mike Wagner Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out The Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson for great books, merchandise, and more. 
Also support the Mike Whitener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewhitenershow.com. Make sure you give generously today. We're here with the amazing singer-songwriter from Patterson, New Jersey, a one-time member of Riff, and um, also he was in a uh, group was in White Men Can't Jump, and also Lean On Me, Nitty Green here on the Mike Whitener Show. I mean, you went from one to another with all the hits and everything else, being in a couple of films, and you also uh, got involved with um, Men of Vision as well in the late 90s with a few uh, top 20 hits on Billboard. And tell us more about that. Oh, man. Well, you know, Riff was going through after we lost our deal at SBK Records. All right. Because we we decided to walk away from the label, which was a mistake. Mm. We ended up walking away from the label because of a, of differences on uh, the music that we were going to sing. Um, we couldn't come to that agreement. We were slated to to do like our whole project with David Foster, which is one of the biggest producers on the planet at the time. We didn't see it, we was young in the business. We, we didn't know what David Foster did, but they knew. And we ended up passing and walking away from that label, um, which ended up pretty much, you know, we were thinking that we could just walk away and go to another, la- go to another record label and, uh, it didn't pan out that way. So I want to say um, we ended up taking a break. Riff ended up taking a break. Through that break, life happens where, you know, a couple of us got married and had a couple children and, you know, was doing the family thing. And there was um, somebody from the Men of Vision group and, one of the guys from the Rift group connected at a church service. And I guess like uh, the guy from Rift was asking one of the members from Men of Vision if he would do some songs for Riff. Huh. And he was like, yeah, let, let me get your number. But I know who Riff is. Definitely I'll do some records for him. So he ended up not, not calling. They it didn't like pan out like that. And then one day, like a month later after that meeting, he ended up calling one of the guys in the group and was like, listen, I got a situation over here at Sony Music, MJJ Records. He said, I'm looking for, you know, three guys to come be a part of Men of Vision. What is Riff doing? And the gentleman from my group was like, we're not doing nothing, man. He goes, so... You know, he said, uh, can y'all come over here for uh, for a, a audition? And we went over to, uh, we met in New York City at Junior's Cheesecake in Brooklyn. Mm. And we sang for him and we were immediately accepted to be in the group. Now we had to go to Sony Music and audition for Michael Jackson's whole staff and the Sony staff. Um you know, Teddy Riley, big producer who was on tour, um, responsible for Black Streak. Um, he was on the phone. Uh, and we ended up singing in front of the whole staff of Sony, and they loved it. And we ended up signing the deal to Michael Jackson's label and stuff like that, man. And we went in and recorded an album. We put it out, man. It did, it did good. And and then Michael Jackson had so many problems with Sony at the time, you know, trying to, um, uh, I guess Sony was trying to get his masters or trying to get the Beatles masters from him and uh, Elvis's masters from him. Cause I think Michael bought him up. He ended up um, getting his label deal dropped, mm. which means that our album now went to the shelf. And we didn't get a chance to finish promoting that record. So we ended up taking a break, been a vision. And that's when we got back with Riff and just started putting down music ever since. I'm still in Riff, by the way. We're still a group. We still do songs. We're working on a Christmas project right now. But I also do my own solo music as well. Mm, and that's amazing, too. Speaking of solo music, you've got uh, Young OG with me. They don't want to see us uh, keep loving me as well, too. And uh, tell us about some of your uh, music as well, too. What inspired you to uh, write some of the songs? You know what, man? I never really wanted to do solo music. It was just to pass the time. Um, so I, I wrote and produced a, 
couple songs just to see what they would sound like and see if people would like them. And yeah, you know, it's just testing the waters, you know, trying to see. And mm -hmm. you know, it's being an independent artist, man. If you don't have that platform where where you have that, see, I'm used to having a major label behind me pushing my music, but when you're financing and you're financing all of the videos and you're you're, you're doing everything yourself, you don't have that team, it's pretty um, obvious that it's not on the same level. So I was putting out a whole bunch of music just, just to get some shows while Riff record their records. And mm. um, we ended up, man, like I started liking it, Mike. I started, I started liking some of the music, man. So <laughs> fast forward, man, just dropped um my new single running out of time which uh number one on the dj record pool man and thanks to katrina hurts kick up your heels entertainment um my partner danielle silva um we um you know they did a marvelous job in providing some light to the song which has inspired me to write some more material, man, that I'm thinking about putting out an EP at the top of the year. So I'm just, you know, actually the EP is actually done already. I just got to mix the songs, but it's, um, you know, it wasn't until running out of time that I found my niche. Like I said, I was just throwing out music, man, trying to, trying to find out which style I wanted to go to, but running out of time was a special type of record, man. It had the right message to it you know, and people liking it. So my new music is following what that's all about. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And where can we find all your, and we can find all your music at Nitty. You can find it everywhere on all digital platforms. You know, it's on um, iTunes, um, everywhere, everywhere. You can just punch it up. Uh, Nitty, Nitty Green It's it's everywhere. Apple Music, you know, YouTube, Spotify, it's everywhere, man. You can you can get it. I'm out there for sure. Mm. We certainly would do so. You also have a video podcast called Vibe Sessions. We'll talk about that. You'll listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with a multi talented singer songwriter from New Jersey and with Riff Nitty Green after this time. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is extraordinary relation of ordinary people based on a real life relationship. It's just it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with a multi-talented singer-songwriter from Patterson, New Jersey, Nitty Green, here on The Mike Wagner Show. And, um, you know, just an amazing story you had. You know, you go from Lean On Me over to White Men Can't Jump and also Men of Vision and more and crank out a number of hits. And you also have the song Running Out of Time as well and some of your works. You're also uh, involved in a video podcast called Vibe Sessions with um, little, little um, Ian McElvin and uh, Daniel Silva and more. And uh, tell us more about the video podcast and what got you got started on it. Wow, man. 
You know, it was an idea that Danielle Silva had, you know, like during the pandemic, there was so much going on, you know, we wasn't doing a bunch of traveling, the group wasn't traveling. Um, we just had to figure out our way. So uh, me and L Little Pie talked about doing a podcast, believe it or not, like a couple years before we actually started Vibe Sessions. But Danielle was the one that that came up with Vibe Sessions idea. So I ended up interviewing my little brother, Little Pie, and it, it, it came off so good, the chemistry and you know what I mean? Danielle decided she was like you and you and Little Pie should do this podcast, and we ended up adding her because she brought about a different side. You know, all this testosterone in the room, and then you know what I mean. We had to bring a, a little a little bit of sunshine in the, <laughs> in the room, and we balance each other out. You know what I mean. So we're on every. Sunday at 7 p.m. Um, every Sunday. We only do it one time a week. And we talk life, love, and music. You know what I mean? We, we dive back into the 90s and we go back and I reach out to all of my, my um, entertainer friends that were in these singing groups and I get them to come on and you know what I mean? And we talk about their careers and stuff like that and life and love. We talk about love. So we're still building. Um, it's getting a lot better. The podcast is getting a lot better, a lot stronger. And I like to say, until the casket drop, Mike, I will continue to do this music and this entertainment, man, because I love it just that much, man. And Bob Sessions is just um, a vehicle that basically it taught me how to do interviews and speak to people. Cause I was such a shy guy back in high school and through the Rift project and through Middle Vision. I really didn't talk much cause I had a stuttering problem, you know, growing up and all the way through my twenties, I just stuttered so bad. So I developed through Vibe Sessions on how to talk and have a, a regular conversation with, pe with, with people, man. And, I'm just, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. So Vibe Sessions, again, we're on um, um, at Vibe Sessions Official on Facebook, live on Facebook every Sunday at 7 p.m. And, you know, we go there and as the young kids say today, man, you know, we turn up, man. We turn up and we have a good, good time. It sounds like it, too. So we'll certainly check that out. Uh, Vibe Sessions uh, every Sunday at 7 p.m. on Facebook as well, too. And also just a couple of things with Nitty Green here on the Mike Widener Show. What else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond? Well, we're looking. Riff is in the studio now. We're getting ready to drop a Christmas project. This is supposed to be a secret, but I'm telling you first. <laughs> we are on. We are in the studio recording a Christmas project, and we're going to have that out. By the end of September, we're going to be, you know, going to radio with it. And um, I think um, by the top of the year, we're going to be celebrating 35 years as a group riff. Wow. We're going to be celebrating. So we're going to be, it's going to be our anniversary and we're going to celebrate all year. So 30, 35 years, uh, March, and we're going to celebrate all year. So we might be coming to your town, man, doing, doing a show. The, the, you know, we'll, we'll have some room. We'll make some room for you. So we'll, <laughs> so, so we'll put that on the calendar. Let us know when you're coming. We'll make some room for you. So <laughs> cool, cool, amazing. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? The biggest influence in my career. Um, wow. I don't know, man. I, I want to say my mom. My mom pushed me to follow my dreams, you know, she raised me right. You know, I didn't fall victim to any really, no, no bad habits. You understand what I'm saying? Just watching her and how she provided for the family and, and just worked hard. Her and my grandmother were like my inspirations. And, um, you know, I just try not to disappoint them, you know, and, it just pushed me to go harder for whatever I want to do. Just, just, I, it, it kind of just watching them 
it's like in my bloodline to fight to to get what I want while I'm here. You know what I mean? So I lost a lot of friends during COVID, man. And it's, you know, it's just crazy. So it that also lit a flame and just, you know, it's just, just making me work a little bit harder now than I did before. So, cause I, I want to make sure that I leave um, behind, man, great, great content and great music, man. And, and just people that connect with me, you know, can be able to say, yo, he was a great guy, point blank. He's a mm, great guy. Sir. Great music too. Yeah, I certainly do. And a really good influence as well. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? As far as any in general, any, in general, any, any, anybody that's listening to this right now, man, the best advice that I can give you right now is trust your gut and your heart. And, you know, a lot of, you know, I'm not trying to push religion on anybody. You know, if you believe in the most high, you know, trust in, in God. And if you don't trust in that, trust your gut and your heart and just stay true to yourself. And that's very good advice as well, too, Nitty. Very uh -huh. good advice. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, good stuff. Once again, we're singer-songwriter from Patterson, New Jersey of Riff. Nitty Green here on the Mike Wagner Show. Nitty, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Love hearing your story. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. And uh, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact or people uh, purchase? Check out your music and uh, check out your other works at. Well, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, you know, at Nitty Green. I pop up a YouTube at Nitty Green. Um, you can also follow um, at Riff Sounds everywhere. That's um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can get all of my music on all digital platforms. All you got to do is go to go to your um, digital platform engine. Punch in Nitty Green and all of our music will pop up. And the same thing for Riff. You can punch up Riff's Riff music and everything will pop up, man. You can you can check out and see what we do. We will certainly do so. Once again, Nitty, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having soon. Make sure it keeps us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. We wish all best. And Nitty, you definitely have a great future ahead of you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms and, of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>